So recently I was asked again, um, what are my all-time favorite cups? And here are three of them on screen now. This is the Eva Cup Size 2, the Juju or Juju Cup Size 2, and the Super Jenny Size 2. That is the, um, the limited edition green version of the Super Jenny Cup. It was not available for sale. Um, so the reason why I like the Eva Cup is because it opened really easily for me. Um, I was using the Diva Cup and the Maluna Cup and I just was having a hard time with them and so I did come across the Eva Cup and I purchased it. Didn't even know about different shapes yet or even different firmnesses. So I kind of went in blind buying this Eva Cup over a year ago and it just so happened to work out for me. So I think the thing that really made it work was um, this secondary rim. It's so high up the cup that it made it a lot easier to get open. The bottom of the cup is nice and soft and then this secondary rim makes it a little bit more firm from this point up into the top firm which is a uh, top rim which is the firmest part of the cup not including the stem so i was using the punch down fold with it when i first received it um, and i used that that fold quite often pretty much until i started using the softer cups and figured out how to get those to open because I did have quite a bit of problem getting to the softer cups to open um, and I found that I had to just use a really easy fold with those to get them to open easier and so I went to the U fold or the C fold and now it doesn't matter what cup I grab for sometimes I use the U or C fold just out of out of not thinking about it um, and then sometimes I also use a punch down, so I mean I just don't consciously think about okay which fold am I going to use today. Um, so that's why I like the the Eva cup. It's a nice silicone. It feels really well made, and I do try to keep keep in contact with this company, and they're always trying to improve their cup, and they're looking for new ways to just make it better for the rest of us. So I know they're they're doing their homework, they're they're reading comments, they're asking their um, users questions to find out what we would like. Um, and that says a lot about a company that they're just not going to say, well, that's what we have, so use it or don't. Um, they just really want to make something that's going to work for for everybody. And, and it's so hard to please everybody, so they're not always going to be able to do that, but you know they still try. Um, I know they do a lot of homework in their testing too so I'm really happy with the company not just the cup. So this other the second cup here um, and again these are not in a, any specific order that I like one better than the other um, I, I'm just doing them in it, the order that I purchased them in. So this is the Juju cup or the Juju cup however you want to pronounce it um, I do have a size small, and the size small is actually what I had purchased first. I bought it in a D stash, and then I bought the large in a D stash when I saw it come up. Um, these are a little bit expensive, so I didn't want to purchase it straight from the company, um, and I was happy when I saw them being D stashed. But it's such a nice silicone, so clear. It's crystal clear here. You can see. Um, that you can see right through it and my cup is quite dirty because it was sitting in my box of cups. Um, I wash the cups every time I go to use them out of the box. Um, so here is the stem. Uh, I would probably cut the stem off but it doesn't bother me when I'm wearing it so I just went ahead and left it on. Um, I don't know. I. Now I like to leave the stems on just in case I don't want to keep it and I end up destashing them later. At least I could leave it on for the next person. Um, I did cut off my Eva cup stem. There there was four grip rings and here is another one. Um, 
but I got a lot of use out of this cup. It's been over a year and, and I still like it a lot. But I know that they had a new model with their name branded into it or molded into it and whatnot. And I don't have that one for myself, but it is um, the cup that I was uh, giving away in my um, last cup giveaway or bundle giveaway, I guess. Anyhow, back to the Juju cup. Um, it It's a fairly firm cup I, I would say um, it's not really really soft it doesn't have a high rim but this rim it has enough um, resistance for it to pop open easy it's just a really nice design I like it a lot um, the punch down fold worked for me and also the U or C fold work for me. But talking to my husband, he was telling me about silicones and he said that um, if they're nice and clear like this, it is one of the purest silicones. Um, so I think that's kind of what drew me to this first was just the clearness or the, the clarity of this silicone, but it is a good cup overall. I like it a lot. It's good um, capacity two. Actually, I think they're about the same. The Eva Cup and the Juju Cup are about the same in capacity, but uh, I don't have that those numbers with me right now. So the last of these top three... Um, oops, it got dirty in my box. In my cup box, not that box. Um, this is the Super Jenny, and I haven't used this green one yet I've only used the the original the clear one and at first I did have a little problem getting it to open because it doesn't really have I mean they do have a secondary rim an invisible one from about right here it starts to get a little bit more thick so as you travel up the cup you can feel the thickness change between your fingers when you're just pinching it like that um, but it's not really, really firm. It's a fairly soft cup. Back here is even softer than than up here. So the punch down fold did not work for me using this cup. However, it did work for my daughter. She used the punch down fold and didn't have any problems getting it to open. I, on the other hand, had to just use the C fold or U fold and when I first used it I figured I, I thought that I was going to have to find a different fold um, because it felt kind of big but then I just um, squeezed it a little bit more the next time I used it and it was fine um, and I do have to only insert this cup halfway in before I, I allow it to open and then using a finger um, on the inside, I push up at the rim to get it to go into place around my cervix or, you know, press it up higher to maneuver it where it needs to be. Um, so this cup is a high capacity cup. Uh, I think it was 35 milli millimeter, uh, milliliters to the, the um, suction release holes right there. I know Cost Bond did a video, and if you're interested in, the, in that, I'll leave that in the description below. So it's a high-capacity cup, and I actually, actually forgot that I was wearing it, um, and I think it was a 24-hour period. I mean, that I used it for a 24-hour period, and, um, and it didn't leak on me. And I didn't have any cramping or anything like that. Try not to use your cups that long, but I did forget and it, you know, didn't kill me. Um, so I really, really like this cup. A lot of people say that a low cervix would be okay with this just because your cervix can, cervix can sit inside of the cup and you don't lose all of your capacity of the cup. So um, you can give that a try. A nice, inexpensive price as well as the Eva Cup. Both of them are about, about the same price, around $24 or so. Um, that's approximate. I can't tell you the exact price right now. Um, and that may or may not include shipping. So some of the other cups that I do grab for or were on my top three list are these three here. 
and oops I'm a little off camera so the lunette was on my top three until the super jenny actually knocked it off of my top three so I liked the lunette because it was such a firm cup and at first when I used um, menstrual cups I really wanted a firm cup because it was just so much easier to open I didn't have to fumble with it a whole bunch the lunette I could hear I swear I could hear it pop open and I always used the punch down fold with this cup at that time but it makes that noise I don't know if it's in my head or if I could actually hear it but I swear I could hear it um, and I knew it was open and I really didn't have to check that it was open because I felt it um, sometimes it surprised me on how it how it popped open and that's why I liked it so much was just that ease of use that it popped open so easily um, the, the lady cup became one of my favorites after I figured out how to get the softer cups to open up for me it was just such a comfortable cup um, I did have a yellow one but my daughter took it because it became one of her favorite cups uh, and so I purchased another one and I did cut the stem off of this one um, I did cut the stem off of the lunette too, but uh, this one was my favorite for a while, and I don't know why I just kind of, I stopped using it. Um, my daughter had a little bit of leaking because these suction release holes are lower, and they do point downward. So she said when she uses it, it's like when it gets full, it hits these um, suction release holes and then it just travels down the cup when it when um, it tr it goes through the holes because it's it's punched in downward or molded downward in so um, I didn't have any leaking myself on this cup but I just kind of stopped using it I don't know I honestly don't know why I think probably I just went to the the juju cup instead of this one because they are kind of similar in that uh, my goodness um, that crossover between the rounded V shape and the bell shape so they're similar and because I didn't want leaking with those lower holes I just kind of went to the juju cup and this last cup here is the Bella cup um, it's a soft it's it's pretty soft to me uh, not as soft as some other cups well the the super Jenny is softer than the Bella cup but it is a good high capacity cup too um, I I was worried that I wasn't going to be able to get it to open when I first got it because the the rim is so small and it doesn't have a whole bunch of firmness to it that I didn't think that I was going to get it to open but I did use the U-fold C-fold and it popped open fine for me it was a really good comfortable cup and honestly I said this in another video that the Bella cup is a nice soft um, silicone that people that do have sex with a menstrual cup in this cup might actually work fine for you this is the large and I had said in a previous video um, that I had a small and I I really don't I don't know what I was thinking I maybe I was thinking that I, I was um, I have the juju cup in a small and these two cups are pretty similar they both have that kind of same rounded V shape and crossover to the bell shaped cups uh, the Bella cup is a little bit longer than the Juju cup and it is softer than the Juju cup so this might be a good, good cup when you are having sex it, the, the firmness of the rim should still seal pretty nicely but those are my favorites my top six favorites um, I don't I don't grab or reach for these as much as I do with these though so these would be my top three favorites those are my top favorites what are your top favorites and why leave me a comment below 
Um, if I miss something or if you have any additional comments, go ahead and leave them below as well. Or you can find me on Facebook. All my information is in the description. And until I see you next time, take care. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.